Oh, yeah, people were mad at me. Guess Asmon's getting heat for some comment he made on stream the other day. Mm -hmm. I'll play the clip for you. Let me know what you think about this. Let's take a look. In a tweet with almost 7,000 likes from Dexerto, they say Asmon Gold shared a controversial take claiming that fat or ugly small streamers won't get as many viewers. All right. Like I said, let's have the man speak for himself. Man. Man. Here. But if somebody asked me themselves why they're not getting more viewers, then yeah, I would sure do it. Let me link you guys this video. Yeah, I would look like a huge dick if I did that. Speaking of being a huge dick, some people aren't themselves. Well, here's the thing, right? You want to you wanna know a really, really uncomfortable, shitty truth? Is that if you're ugly, people won't like you. And this is even more true for girls. True. So if you're really fat or really ugly, it doesn't uh -huh. matter how funny you are, people just aren't going to like you. Yep. They don't want to look at you. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I said it like that. That's the, that's it. Oh, God. Dick Serto then added, the streamer prefaced it by saying yep. that this is the uncomfortable truth. Asmon himself responding to that Dick Serto sure tweet did. saying 900 plus comments. I can't wait to read all of these in bed tonight. As expected, was, some of the comments are um, a bit odd. <laughs> I, I'm laughing out of uncomfortableness. I'm like, what is this? He can go fuck himself is what he can do. This, this. There's so much to unpack with this comment, guys. Excuse me. This comment says, He can go F himself. And there's something about a body? What the heck? Oh, Finding with the a body? body who harassed his... Wait. What Dude, the fuck? What? <laughs> it's something about small streamers being worthless society or something. And then uh -huh. saying F this trend, F these clout chasing... Well, it's not society. It's so city. And goblins and then randomly adding hashtag VTubers at the end? Yeah, this is the way... Um... These are the people that are against me. Yeah, this is the average Asmongold hater on Twitter. Uh-huh. Like, the heck did I just read, man? Do you know those, like, mind-wiping things in Men in Black? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this guy does that every morning. Can someone get one of those and use it on me? I want to forget that comment. Here's a more uh, tame response. It says, pretty privilege is definitely a thing, but we also aren't going to act like the top 1% of Twitch or YouTube streaming all look like Henry Cavill. Other oh, yeah. No, that's definitely true. I, I mean, like, I think that it's a benchmark. So, like, for example, if there's, like, something wrong with your face, then it's, like, a big issue. Because, like, people don't want to look at somebody who has, like, something wrong with their fucking face. But I would say, in general, if you look at... The majority of people that are popular streamers, they are at least average to above average attractiveness. And I'm not talking about myself, okay? I'm not talking about me. I'm saying the other people. The average. Of course. That's just how it is. Responses, deciding to take yep. jabs at Asmon. Uh -huh. This person dis Oh yeah, I mean Asmongold, you're ugly and your content still gets views, so your argument is moot. Mm hmm There are a lot of people out there who don't understand statistics. It's sad. But let's be real. The reason why people take a comment like this and then turn it around and personally insult me is because they took that comment personally. So don't get mad at me, get mad at a mirror. I didn't do this to you. God did. Citing a similar sort of approach. Ricky Berwick saying K, posting images uh -huh. of his socials. However, plenty of people in the comments just fully agreeing with Asmon. Oh, For most example, people were. Diddley saying this is the least controversial take ever. Shock saying this is controversial. Look at any yeah. famous person. 95% of them are an 8 or 9 on the scale. And Plurto responding saying pretty privilege is a thing. I don't, uh, I don't know how people are trying to deny it in the comments. Because they're stupid. These are the kinds of people how, like, you can say, um, uh, you, you know, like, oh, well, women have to have sex with a dude to get pregnant. And someone's like, well, what about Jesus? Yeah, well, what about Jesus? I mean, how do you explain that? So, like, that's not really always true, though, right? Okay, so it's not true, then. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. Okay, so that's not, yeah, actually, uh, no, there, there's this, I have, a, I have an anecdote that, that proves this rule wrong. Oh, there's 100,000 people tested? Yeah, well, my friend had this happen, and it was different with him. So, it's not true. No. 
No, that's not. No, absolutely not. There was also a situation a while back where people were upset at Asmon Gold for a comment he made on Fat Phobia. You might find this clip interesting if you haven't seen it before, given. Oh boy. Oh boy. In the context of this video so far. Like, Fat Phobia is cringe? You know who's fat phobic? Your body. Your body. No. Your body's fat phobic. How many 90 year old people you see that weigh uh, over 400 pounds? Zero. You dead. know why? It's because they're dead. Think about the only famous, well-known, really old fat oh, person. Santa Claus. He's not real. And he's not real. No. They're dead. <laughs> <laughs> that's that. That's all there is to it. Yeah. That. That's. That's. That, yeah. I'm sorry, but like we gotta keep. We gotta keep it real, guys. Like that's the truth. Yep. But, and, and like I think anybody, by the way, anybody who doesn't say what I'm saying. And, and then the thing is to me is like, I, I, I know what I did here. I saw like five people in chat probably disagreeing with me. And I said, bitch, you think you're mad now? I'm going to keep going. I said, hold up, hold up. I, I got more. I think it's doing a massive disservice to not only their audience, but to the entire society. Yep. In a Reddit thread talking about that clip, one of the most upvoted critical comments reads, Dude uh -huh. shouldn't have a take on this since he constantly jokes that salads are self-harm and eating them would get him banned on Twitch. Mm -hmm. Fat phobia is just fat shaming. Everyone would have easier lives if you stopped caring about other people's weight and stopped making comments on it. It's none of your business, and if they die, they die. If it's someone you care about, you'd make the effort to help them lose weight uh -huh. instead of commenting on it. Smoking and drinking is bad too, and so is doing drugs. Yet people fixate more on talking crap about obese. See, that's the thing is they've always got to make it personal. They've always got to make it personal about me. Like you can say that being fat is unhealthy and somebody can write a four fucking paragraph, uh, you know, response about how, how you're wrong people which is kind of indicative that they don't care about that person uh -huh. they just want a punching bag if they did care they'd be advocating for people to stop drinking smoking yeah if the uh if the if if people's conversations on the internet didn't revolve around one minute or less clips people would know that i actually said this exact thing afterwards and like thinking that like being fat is bad and you don't want to be fat doesn't mean that you should make fun of people for being fat but, like, it, it doesn't fit in, like, a one-minute clip, so people don't see it. And it's not as controversial. Or doing drugs, too, and shaming them if they didn't. But most people only focus on fat people. On the other hand, people... Well, this is, again, this person's got a problem with society. I think doing drugs and drinking is also bad. And smoking. They're all bad from body positivity movement need to get their stuff together they need to discredit those that use the movement to claim it's okay to be fat while focusing yeah. on the mental health and motivation of fat people yeah fat shaming generally only serves to make them feel terrible so the focus should be on motivating them positively not reassuring them that it's okay to be fat ultimately it's none of your business how other people live and the likelihood that they already know they're fat and unhealthy is pretty high they need motivation to lose weight not i think the problem is not that people are fat it's that people try to push a narrative that being fat is healthy and that you can't know if somebody's healthy or not like if you're 400 pounds you're not healthy like it's that simple like there's not really a lot to it Right, who says that? Well, a lot of people do. What do you mean? Who does that, though? you seen the amount of fucking articles people say healthy at every size? Y'all never seen that? Well, 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 bro, are we trying to pretend? We tr we, are we playing pretend here? All the time. All the fucking time you see this shit. bullying or reassurance that they're not fat or unhealthy couple things real quick then we'll move on to the next comment why get upset at his joke about mm -hmm. salads being self-harm though <laughs> like because people on reddit are dumb and because they're dumb they can only understand things as like a personal insult they can't understand like ideas they're unable to separate the message from the messenger so if they hear somebody say something they're completely focused on who's saying it and they don't think about the idea
because they're dumb. They think about the person. I like salads, but that joke's kind of funny. Like, he, I guess he doesn't like salads, you know? I so don't like salads, no. Whatever. Uh, and the, the whole people focus more on fat mm -hmm. people than, like, drug addicts and stuff. I don't think that's I don't really know about true. that one. Yeah, Some I, I Redditors so. agreeing with that comment saying this is yep. facts. And, yep, in cases like these, ago. it's just bullying in disguise. This one reading, he's 100% right, but does this mean mm -hmm. he's going to start exercising and eating more calories to go up to a healthy weight? Or is he going to stay a human skeleton? Can he even jog for 30 minutes? Touch his toes? Probably not, if Asmon were as fat. Um, could I jog for 30 minutes? Probably not. Like, if it was slow, yeah, but if I had to, like, run for 30 minutes, I, I don't think so, no. No, I, I, you die? I, yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I was never like an endurance runner, even when I was younger. Not even slow. Most people can't. Yeah, 30 minutes straight. That's a lot. I don't know. Touch his toes? I'm not sure if I could do that or not. But again, you know, this is what I'm saying, right? Is that uh, it, it's the mind of these people is like, it, it's so like a... Uh, like surface level, they're not able to do it. I don't want to do it on stream right now. Yeah, right? Reddit comprehension. Yeah, they're not able to think about an idea without just insulting a person. As F S Fond, it's reaction. He, yeah. he's saying the same things dumb. about thin people. He's not preaching about being healthy. He's just giving another cold take for virtual paths. Uh, he's not preaching about being healthy. Oh, yeah, I yeah. am. I think you should be healthy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for, for virtual pats on the back completely annoying his own unhealthiness because he can do no wrong. See, this is like again on the back while completely ignoring his own unhealthiness because he can do no wrong. And a little. Ex what? <laughs> what the fuck? What, what is it? Hard seething? I don't know if they're fat or not. But it's like people take it. Yeah, it's so uncalled for. Like it's so personal. Bro, what the fuck? Yeah, it's just such a, it, like, it, what the hell are you doing? Exchange here. One user saying, I mean, true, but who is Asimon Gold to talk? And another user saying, as good as anyone else, his yeah. health and weight are irrelevant when it comes to stating a factual statement. That's true. Absolutely. And I'm also not fat. Now, all that said, by far... The most upvoted comments in that thread are ones supporting Asmon Gold's take. Oh, yeah. He's right. And there's also a difference between someone being a healthy weight and that person actually being healthy. If all you eat is junk food and don't overeat, you might be a normal weight, while all your underlying blood work numbers are terrible. Being heavy just makes all those issues that much worse. Oh, I think that's definitely true. That's the same thing that happened with COVID, right? Is like a lot of people that were fat died of COVID. A lot of people that were skinny didn't. That's just how it is. It's like a multiplier. This person saying, I'm overweight and I wouldn't wish it on anyone. The amount of physical issues you will 100% run into later in mm -hmm. life aside, it did a real number on my mental health slash confidence, which created an yep. incredibly destructive feedback loop of hating myself, being insecure. Yeah, I saw whenever I made that comment recently about the, uh, you know, people won't want to look at you. Um, there were a lot of people that were overweight or formerly overweight that talked about how people wouldn't look at them or wouldn't want to look at them because they were fat. I didn't even know that was a thing. I've never been fat. But, like, damn, that sucks. Here as heck, and then eating to cope whilst I further spiral and further into the hole. I 100% think being hostile to fat people has the potential mm -hmm. to propagate the issue further, and in most, not all cases, will just make things worse for the individual, not better. But... Yeah, I, I think so. I, I think there's a uh, there's obviously, like, a balance where you can acknowledge that things that people are doing are unhealthy and they're bad without necessarily shitting on them constantly. I also think anyone who defends it as a lifestyle, especially if they're not someone who has ever had to deal with how mentally taxing it can be, is doing a massive disservice to society as a whole, and it should be treated like the epidemic it is. That's definitely true. People that make it to where, oh, well, you're of overweight, like, it's not, it, 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 this is society's fault. No, it's not. From there, other top comments would essentially also give some advice, simply saying just eat less calories than you burn a wall. Instead of 20 burgers a day, eat 19, then 18, then 17. It's that simple, yeah. folks. And someone even saying lost 60 pounds doing this. 
literally just counted calories and limited myself to 1400 to 1700 a day for nine months. And finally, this Redditor saying mm -hmm. this comment section is full of people who got called out and are coping with the idea that Asmon being unhealthy himself uh -huh. means he can't have an opinion on it. That's just stupid. Why would that mean anything? Yep, they're trying to make it personal because they're taking it personal, and I think I know why. He's actively aware of how unhealthy he is and tells his viewers yeah. not to live like him. He's not preaching. I about also, by the way, uh, I, I I feel like, yes, I'm I'm a bit unhealthy for sure, but... Like, I, I'm not, I don't think I'm as bad as people make me out to be. I really don't. Like, I, I eat a very, very minimal diet. But no, I, I, I actually don't think it's that bad. You drink a lot of, I think the one thing that you can criticize me on, and it's completely accurate, is that I do drink a lot of soda. I drink too much soda for sure. But I think the actual food that I eat is not that bad. The problem is I don't really eat a lot of vegetables or fruits or anything. Like, the stuff that I do eat isn't, like, super bad, though. About the idea of skinny phobia, when people Steak say he and looks fasting unhealthy is or saving skinny. You. Yep. Such a ridiculous mindset to dismiss his point just because he himself isn't healthy. Uh -huh. The point is that these people are deluding themselves into believing they are healthy when they aren't. Well, That's while we true. took a little bit of a divergence from the Dexerto Very article, true. this was certainly a bit related to that sort of topic. And I didn't see this happen when it occurred a year ago. So it was rather interesting to take a look at that stuff now. I hope you found this segment to be interesting as well. And let me know what you think about all that stuff in the comments. In my general opinion here at the end, I think it's important to watch your diet. That doesn't mean you have to literally be on a diet like cutting. No, diet, I simply mean what you eat, like what you drink, like your nutrition, yeah. right? tracking your macros, et cetera, et cetera. So whether you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to cut or trying to bulk, or you like where you are and you're trying to stay there, I think it's important to watch what you eat to some extent. You don't have to like obsess over it, but just be wary of the macros and like what you're eating throughout the day. And I think it's important to also keep active and work out. That doesn't mean you have to go to a gym and lift weights. You could literally just do like body weight stuff at home. Yeah, I, I think being active is really important, like doing stuff and moving around at least a little bit, right? Uh, it, it's just, like, I, I don't know how people would make a an, an argument against that. I mean, just walk, you know, move around a bit, etc. Uh, Push-ups and stuff is sufficient. Yeah, exactly. Bare minimum makes a big difference. Yeah, I mean, that's just, that's, that's how it is. I mean, fuck. Um, do plyometrics, that sort of thing, mm -hmm. if you like that approach. If you like more of a standard, like, bodybuilding, weightlifting thing, you, of course, have that option, going to a gym, lifting some weights. You could take a more powerlifting approach if mm -hmm. you like that stuff more point is you have options some people just do like kettlebell workouts entirely and some people do a combination of all that stuff and for more like cardio stuff you of course got options there you could run you could jog you could jump yep. rope you could do like muay thai boxing etc etc and overall i think all this stuff is going to be positive for people's mental health for people's physical health as redditors also pointed out and some yeah, people i generally feel better whenever i uh I i'm active on a certain day like for example this morning i i like didn't start my stream i was like stressed out about like a million things that probably aren't even really fucking real and i just get st like it's the kind of st it's kind of like the the way i get in my head is that you know in the mornings i'll get like super stressed out and really upset and then towards the end of the night you know whenever it's nighttime i'm, I'm more relaxed and chilled out and things are okay like uh, anxiety, I have really, really bad anxiety. And, uh, you, you know, I felt like that today and I walked down to the store and, uh, you know, I was walking down to the store and, you know, I was like feeling like, okay, you know, I'm feeling fine, right? Things are okay and, you know, things are okay. And uh, fuck, man, it's hard to deal with that shit, man. It is, sugar's bad for anxiety. Well, it's weird for me, right? I mean, cause I'll have these issues too. And, uh, it's weird for me because usually I don't feel that way, uh, but sometimes it just kind of happens, right? Just run four miles every morning. Yeah, that's it. Just getting outside and walking really helps anxiety for real. Yeah, I think so too. Sugar is bad for almost everything. I mean, I'll tell you this, right? If I could eat just like wood and I could survive just eating wood and it tasted good, I would just always eat wood. Like, I don't really care. I just want to eat something that tastes good and move on. Eating is just a waste of time. It's like getting the food buff. It's 10 seconds. You got to sit down and that's it. Yeah, chicken, meat, and rice. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, like, that's the thing. 
is I do try to, uh, I, I tr you can't eat wood? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good one. Um, I, I just think it's a, uh, a skinny fox got to stick together. Yeah. And like for me, right, is that, you know, I got to the point, like I told myself that I, uh, if I got over 150 pounds, I would start like uh, actively like exercising a lot because I didn't want to be fat. See, like it's actually okay. So like here's like a tier list, right? Is like you have in shape is at the top and then underneath in shape is like skinny and then underneath skinny is fat and then underneath fat is skinny fat. That's the worst one. You don't want to look like those fucking aliens from Men in Black. So like I, I like I felt like my stomach was getting uh you, you know it was like it was a little bit too big. I, this is not fucking healthy. Like you you look at anybody like you look at uh, every single doctor doesn't have that right this is not good and so i'm like okay i need to start exercising more uh, i'm gonna eat a little bit less uh you know ice cream and shit and you know what it's not like that anymore it's fine look see that not a fucking issue not a fucking issue anymore and do you know why it's because I stopped eating as much fucking food and I started moving around more. Yeah, imagine that. Isn't it crazy how that stuff works? We saw you showering. Yeah, sure. Show your neck and belly through? Wait, what the hell do you mean by that? Please show pictures of the aliens, the Zoomers. You look that shit up yourself and, and whenever you see it, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about, right? Has he eaten 20 ice cream sandwiches this week? I eat one ice cream sandwich, okay? I eat, I have like usually one or two meals a day and one of them is like a snack of an ice cream sandwich. That's, and it's just, they're not even that big. They're like this big. Like, come on, guys. Just type skinny fat into Google images and behold, yeah, you do not want to be like that, man. Yeah, the aliens smoke cigarettes too. It's not a good time. Let me finish the video and I'll talk more about it. Just because you're not fat doesn't mean you're not healthy. No, that's true. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I probably like I've been like stressed out a lot and it's like I'll get into like these mindsets where I feel like I'm unhealthy or there's like something wrong with me and then I'll go through the day and then I'll feel better and it'll be like fine but it'll be like a thing that's in your head I don't, I don't know if that happens with you guys too but it's just like oh fuck and, and I don't really know how to deal with that entirely but yeah stress is a killer yeah I'm just such a I, I'm such an anxious person all the fucking time? Yeah. Paranoia? Yeah, it's a hormonal disorder? I don't know. But yeah, midlife crisis? No, I've been doing this shit forever. Maybe they think working out is too much of a rigid thing. Like, they mm -hmm. don't realize how many options they actually have. And that they probably can find something that they'll That's enjoy true. and have fun doing and want to do multiple times a week. So I'll leave it there. I wish you all the best. Have a great weekend ahead. And I'll see you in the comments. And of course, in the next segment on the way. There it is. And uh, yeah, I think that's a good video. Uh, I, I wish you had talked more about how, how much I was right. Uh, that's the only disappointing part is that he didn't talk about how right I was as much. But overall, uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's a good video. Buy a punching bag for sure. I mean, maybe. I don't know yet. I, I mean, here's the thing. Like, I didn't even know this was a thing, man. Like, my, I talked to my dad today. Because, like, so yesterday, last night, I was getting pizza. And uh, while I was driving home from pizza, I, I was at an intersection, and my car died. And, like, it didn't die. It went from, like, let's say the car's at, like, a 10, and it went to, like, a 1. And, like, the, the lights were almost off. The radio turned off. And, and like, I, I go forward, and the car is like, bro, we only have first gear. We don't have second gear, third gear, fourth gear. Nah, bro, those are gone. And so I'm just barely going, like, 10 fucking miles an hour. And I'm going up this hill, and it's like... And then I'm driving. I'm like, ooh, maybe I can get back to the house. Then I'm, I'm going, and then I, I can feel the steering, right? The steering fucking turns off. The steering goes off. And uh, power steering, so I'm like, oh, fuck. And so I had to, like, rip that bitch over into the parking lot and just barely made it into the parking lot without causing a, a wreck. And so, uh, anyway, I was talking to him about this. And this happened last night. Uh, that's why I, I didn't get back on last night until, like, way later. Because I had to deal with this fucking bullshit with my car. And so, uh, anyway. And that uh, sounds like alternator. Well, whatever the fuck it is. I mean, I don't give a fuck what it is. I take it down to the mechanic. They fix it. It's done. Right? I mean, I, I, I'm not that, I'm paying them to know what it is. That's the truth.
Uh, happened to me going 70 on the freeway. It was the alternator. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 that's what my dad thought. Like, um, I looked it up. They said it was like the starter, like the ignition, but like that didn't make sense to me. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I'm not a mechanic, right? Uh, and so anyway, uh, uh, I'm talking to him about it, and like my dad in the last six months, might be seven months now, it's hard to say, has had pneumonia three times. Uh, three times he's had pneumonia. And this morning, he went out for a walk. And he's been doing it now for a week because he's recovered. He walks over a mile, two miles. And that's what it is. And so, yeah, it's like you just, you, you got to keep going no matter what. And uh, uh, th that's that's all there is to it. I mean, and so, uh, should walk with him? Bro, I'm not going to, yeah, right. That shit is early in the morning. Like, he's doing that shit at 8 a.m. Yeah, right. Let's see this. And uh, what's this? He's right, though. People would rather look at someone attractive nine times out of ten. Yeah, exactly. And so the best part about this, I think that, like, people just got that, bro, they got so much in their feelings about this comment. And, like, here's what kind of sucks, though, right? Is that it's like if you're fat, you you stop eating food, right? You got any advice for us uglies? Yeah. Um, so basically, I, I've actually I've been doing uh a bit a little bit of uh you know fucking like personal research on this for about 32 years now on what to do if you're ugly as fuck so one thing is that uh you, you can exercise like i think that being ugly as fuck with a lot of people is a choice definitely like for example uh that they, they don't take care of themselves they don't wear clothes that fit their body uh they uh, don't groom themselves in a way that accentuates their features um, they, they, yeah, I mean, sometimes they use a cam. Yeah, I think that's it. And so, uh, I think that's a big factor. It's not, not being VTubers. There's plenty of girls and people that are VTubers that aren't ugly. Like, I think that's probably the majority. A lot of people are VTubers because they don't want to get harassed. Like, uh, it, it it's weird. Uh, whenever, whenever you're on the internet, you get people that are on you. Like, they're, ooh, they're on you. It's weird, man. So, yeah, the, the point I'm making is, uh, uh, you you go out of your way to make yourself look bad and, and you're gonna look bad I think that most people and like this is especially true for guys I think that if you work out you're in shape and you you take care of yourself you're gonna be in a good situation I'm not saying you're gonna be Henry Cavill but I'm saying you're gonna be in a good situation I mean yeah you got some Quasimodo looking motherfuckers then maybe that's not the case but I think for most people that is the case. But it takes work. Yeah, it, it, that's that's the truth. It does take work. Absolutely. Let's see this. He's right though. People would rather look at someone try. Yeah. See, I don't understand how people can get easily offended over something that's true. Unattractive people won't get as much attention unless they happen to be attractive. Now there are folks out there that aren't attractive and get a lot of views. But yes, it doesn't apply to everyone. Of course, right? Things don't apply to everyone. It's not even putting anyone down. No, of course not. It's actually so crazy that people were so upset about this, but I think that shit's funny, right? And uh, whenever people go and they get... Even Shrek found a wife. Yeah, that's true. Good fucking point, man. And uh, why would you act like girls? Most girls are 10 to 10 models. Most girls look like ogres. <laughs> Let me guess, man. You don't have a girlfriend, right? Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, same though. Like, but I'm just saying. Right, yeah. And uh, yeah, Shrek, yeah, dude. Shrek got a wife. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So, is Shrek's a fairy tale? Yeah, but I mean, there's plenty of people who look like Shrek, and, and they have wives. Like, I see, dude, I've wanted, y'all, y'all ever been, like, on Instagram, and you see, like, this really fucking hot girl, and, like, she finally posts a picture with her boyfriend, and her boyfriend is just some, like, fat dude who wears a, 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 a fucking hat? But it's just, yeah, this is my boyfriend. We're in love. But what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> money? Bro, bro, why would they need money? Like, these are girls on OnlyFans, bro. They're making, like, 10 grand a month. They're making 20 grand a month on OnlyFans. They don't need some dude to take care of them. They're chilling. Yeah, that's it. And so a trick is to be funny? I don't know. Like, I think that with, uh, with girls, if you treat girls like people, it will help. Most people don't do that. And I think that's probably... Uh, that's probably my best advice is to treat them like people and uh, start there and then you can move move past that 
Uh, but like with streaming, though, it's just you have to do things that accentuate what uh, what 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 makes you look good or what what doesn't, right? And or plays that down. That's it. Can you finish the video? Yeah, I did. I was just talking about how how right I was. I finished it. Yeah. Uh, the way I can save the money, spend his, then leave with a pile of savings, bro. Whatever makes you what what whatever makes you sleep at night, whatever makes you feel better about your personal situation, keep telling yourself that thing. Okay. Yeah. Well, if it makes you happy, just keep believing it. In selling chat, yeah, dude, that's it. it. Well, the thing is that uh, best advice: don't take dating advice from streamers, bro. Don't take dating advice from a lot of people. Like I. I, I don't think you should really just listen to what somebody says and then just do it, right? You, you should listen to what, uh, but you, you should you should listen to what different people say and then figure out like what resonates with you, what you feel comfortable with, what you think is true, because like uh, I, I think with some people it's it works one way, other people it doesn't. Like that's it. And, and like, so are you saying that I shouldn't treat girls like people? Like, wait, so so was that was that part of advice wrong? So, like, actually, you have to treat them like an ostrich. Like, yeah, I mean, what, what is this? Andrew Tate, you gotta listen to him. Ooh, okay. Okay, you're gonna end up in a Romanian jail. Yeah, that's it. People just listen to their mom and dad, they made them. Not always. Sometimes your parents don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Why should you listen to them? There's a difference between your initial take. If you're fat and ugly, it doesn't matter how funny you are, you won't get views. And the take being fat and ugly makes it much harder for you to get views for the average person. There's a large delusion for all the pushback you're getting. Well, the reason why I say it that way is because any normal, reasonable, non-emotional, bitch-ass baby knows that's what I mean. Whenever you say everyone and most people, that doesn't mean everyone. That doesn't mean literally every single person. So I'm not going to go out of my way to try to, um, you know, go and... And, and curate what I say to make sure that one or two people won't get their fucking feelings hurt. Nah, man. Any, any I would say, person with a triple-digit IQ, even a high double-digit IQ, or is not... go Like, people are going into it to not understand. People are going into it to be mad. And if you go into it to get mad, then you're going to get mad. So it's just, what's the point in trying to get somebody off that, off that, off that cliff? No, nah, man. That's it. It's a bad faith interpretation. Exactly. Purposely misconstruing stuff to argue. What's my IQ at? I don't fucking know. Like, I have no idea. Why would I ever take a fucking IQ? I, I don't think I have a particularly high IQ. Like, I think that people think I'm a lot smarter than I am because I have very good memory. And like that carries me really hard. Like it in uh, in school, I got I dude I got carried by that so hard. Oh my god, memory is a huge part of IQ. I mean, it, it depends on what it is. Yeah, it depends on what the uh, what the context is. A good communicator, yeah, because I fucking communicate all day. What a surprise. People saying IQ doesn't mean shit or giga coping. I mean, I, I think that it, it's like a lot of people like it, it's not a. It, it's not a one-to-one -one comparison, right? It's not like, okay, you do this one thing and this is exactly what the outcome is going to be. Or like, you know, if you're five IQ points higher, you're going to make 5% more money. If you have photographic memory, you can pass any test. Uh, I, I don't I mean, like, I'm pretty close. Like, I, I'm not like a, you know, like 100%. But I can remember a lot of shit. Like, if you ask me some shit about WoW, some shit about, like, any game I played, I'll probably tell you what it is. Some stupid shit somebody did wrong in a raid, I'll probably remember what it is.